Rizal. So here they don't dance to entertain tourists because tribal dances are rituals which are sacred. They only dance if they have prayers, good harvest, or any special events in the mountain. But they share some of their musical instruments. So before the arrival of the modern guitar, they already have their own two-string guitar and considered as one of the oldest guitar here in the Philippines. So it is called Kujapi or Kudluma. So they're going to play that hit, which means bird song. Okay, so aside from that, they also have this kind of musical instrument, piece of walpa, <laughs> then they put piece wax to adjust the sound, and they play this through vibration. It is called a routine. Okay, so this is their native flute, piece of bamboo, and it is called babara. And they play that every rest time or a siesta time. Okay, so that is there. is hunter-gatherers. They only plant every rainy season, but if it's summer, it is time for them to hunt. Okay? So there's going to show Try to hold them fast to your seatmate. So that is Ligid and this is Soraya. So if they have a target, they simply throw this from the distance. And once it hits the target, this will pierce through and this will serve as an so once the target is dropped, that's the time they will use the gate. So that is for Panora. Okay? So aside from that, they don't use balls or arrows. Instead, they have their own blowgun. So they call that sumpit or sabukan in their dialect. The drawing pin on the board will be their target. Sulput. <laughs> So in real situation, the tip of the dart had a poison. This is the main ingredient of making poison. It is called dita. They collect the salt, mix it in other plants, and cook it in a very slow fire. So those in the frames, those are the real darts with real poison. So in just a matter of minutes, the target will die. Even us, if it hits us, there is no antidote for that. 
say goodbye, we could also die. But for the meat, they're going to wash it. They can take, safely eat the meat. So that's the wonder of nature, okay? So here we discourage them to shoot any animals or birds through the butcher of the livelihood program. Every entrance fee, souvenirs, pictures, and any donations they have, in the end of the day, they can now buy food in the mountain. So now they're going to show us, last part, how to make fire in the mountain. Using flame, stone, metal, and their native cotton, they call the process santikan. Okay, so they're going to put it in a dry leaves, blow that to make a bigger fire. Okay, so inside this is a pure sap of pilinat, then covered with banana leaves. It is called salong or saying. This is their light or torch up in the mountain. And one foot of this can last until three to five nights, depends on how they use. And also they believe that the smoke of this can drive away bad luck and bad spirits and can cure headaches and stomach aches. Also smells like incense, good for aromatherapy. Thank you to them, Miss Makansang Salamat. Magandang salamat niya, same means Tiki also. So now we can interact with the tribe and they also have their pet inside the basket. So we have official photographers to take an optional shot. Tawag na ta? Tawag na ta? 